Wasting tickets is probably the most cardinal sin in your Galactic Legends journey. Don't worry though, your boy Scribble here is to help you. I'm going to hold your hand and we're going to walk through the Galactic Legend Ray event and make sure you do not drop a single battle. Let's do this. So jumping in at tier one, and don't let this tier fool you guys, it can actually be quite tricky. It can actually be quite tricky because the enemy does deal a lot of damage. Now you get an event unit, first of all, it looks like Ray, but it's just JTR. And we are going to throw in BB-8. We're going to take in the Bag Bros. These are just Relic 5 still. I haven't upgraded their Relic level since I unlocked Ray as my very first GL all those years ago. And B uh, R2-D2 is our final character. R2-D2 is the best fifth to throw in this team, bar none. He is able to stealth your team so you can avoid counterattacks and he can stun on a basic. I am aware that R2-D2 is not a requirement for Ray. But he is a GL layer requirement, and he is a good character overall. You can do this with a gear 12 R2-D2, guys. Okay? Cool. So, we're taking in BB-8 because BB-8 is actually going to be passing turn meter at the start to all droid allies. He basically gives 8% for every droid on the team. So we've got two droids, which means 16% turn meter to each of your droid allies, which helps them get out the gate fast. So you want R2-D2 going first, then you want stuff like BB-8, then... Foe, a uh, foe, <laughs> Finn needs to go just a little bit faster than your Poe. So we're going to stealth and put the target on BB-8, leaving him out in the open, and we're just going to wiggle. Next up, we're going to do a um, the first special on Ray, calling in BB-8. If he's got his Zeta, he's going to roll with the punches. He will call another resistance ally to assist. Because Ray is stealthed, she's not going to trigger a counterattack here. Lovely. Now we're going to turn meter swap over with Poe, and then we're going to try and get the stun. <coughs> stun. Now, the ally that we target here is going to gain um, inspiration. So let's give that over to our leader. Stunned. And then we're going to do a mass assist on one of the, the snowtrooper officers. Any one of them will do. Let's go and do that. Boop. That was actually pretty good. Now I'm going to do an AoE. We've got three exposes here. So hopefully we'll be able to gain quite a decent amount of TM. Lovely. We've nearly actually killed the, uh, the leader there. So what we're looking for now is the enemy with the highest amount of turn meter, which I think is this one. And we want to use Ray's second special, which will daze and strip away turn meter. All right, we'll do a wiggle with BB-8 again and just basic this officer. He's dead, lovely jubbly. Now we're stealthed over here. So let's look to get inspiration over on BB-8. Boop, don't worry about the leader in the middle. He will die organically. So I'm going to now target the dazed enemy. The reason I'm targeting the dazed enemy is he won't counterattack. We're going to turn meter swap with R2-D2 here. Lovely. We've got another mass stealth. So let's once again put it over on BB-8. They will get some extra attacks, but we're not worried about it. Now I'm taking a look. This guy's got the most turn meter, so we're going to throw the bomb. We're stealthed again, so we don't have to worry about counterattacks. Lots of really good damage there. We should be able to kill this guy before he takes a turn now. Once again, I'm going to call in BB-8. Lovely. And we get the evasion. Absolutely beautiful. Not a problem in tier one then, ladies and gentlemen. So once we got to this point, killed a couple of the units. You don't really have to worry too much. We even get the illuminated destiny. Control the other snow, tro snow trooper there and just go to town. So no banners dropped so far. Absolutely fabulous. Just what we always wanted. Let's move on to tier two. Tier two then, ladies and gentlemen. We're going in with the exact same team because it's actually... Very, very good. So once again, Bag Bros, you're taking a BB-8 and R2-D2. These guys will be able to do the exact same control of that team, just like we did in phase one. All right. So the enemy setup is a little bit different here. We've got some actual first order enemies here, but the approach is exactly the same. So unfortunately, Hux will stop some elements of your turn meter games, but we're still going to do the same start. Stealth immediately over to BB-8. We're going to do a wiggle and we're going to go straight in on Hux at the start. So just a little bit of focus on him. We're going to pass the inspiration over to BB-8 and then we're going to go throw the bomb, targeting Hux, hopefully killing him. Great. Hux is gone. Now we are looking at turn meter across the board. So the First Order Stormtroopers will taunt, but there's two of them. So there's not a whole lot we can do about that. I'm instead going to call back the turn meter on Fox because I don't like him and then focus down the pilot, calling in BB-8 once again, hopefully getting some extra damage there. Lovely. Oh, he's nearly dead. Okay, so ooh, we're losing Finn there. It's okay, though. Don't worry about losing Finn. We'll do an AoE here. That should finish off the Stormtrooper, uh, the uh, First Order TIE Fighter Pilot. Now we're going to pass Inspiration over to R2-D2. 
beautiful and just a basic on the stormtrooper wiggling again with bb8 and once again stealth over to bb8 we'll pull back the turn meter and strip the taunt and now Fox is our target, putting Inspiration on BB-8 and then calling in BB-8. We want to try and kill him because that Fox over there is the damage dealer of the team right now. So let's wiggle and we can do a little bit of burning and just focus down on the Stormtrooper that is the weakest now. If we can kill him, it will be in very, very good position. There we go. Lovely. Illuminated Destiny. Once again, leave BB-8 out in the open. Control it. If we could hit auto, I would, but it's not available to us right now. So even with losing a character, like I did there with Finn, with just a, a little bit of bad luck, I feel, um, it's absolutely fine. You can control the enemy's um, uh, attacks out of turn. You can control the taunts. You can control how uh, who, who actually gets through to attack you quite easily there. Just make sure you take out Hux as a priority. Tier 3 is a little bit different. This one is a dual mechanic. It's mano a mano against Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren also has this in his Galactic Legend journey. Now, the good thing about this is this is the only place you'll have to do it, is in those two Galactic Legend events, because whilst cinematically speaking, it does look kind of cool. I kind of like it. They did a good job with the art department here, but the actual event is not enjoyable. The good thing about it, though, is that if you follow a very specific turn order, you will always win and you don't have to do anything different. OK, it's faint, strike, parry, strike. Remember that faint, strike, parry, strike, faint, strike, parry, strike. All right. Very easy. Very easy. So those three abilities are down here. You've got strike as the first ability. You've got faint as the second and you've got parry as the third. So you start off with faint. You go faint. And then you'll gain this little faint thingy here. And then you'll always have a singular ability. Then you go strike, which is the first ability. Then you go parry after it's available. You always have to do the Sabre Clash. You'll see these numbers over here. You need to get to three of these. Then you go parry. Yeah. So faint, strike, parry. We'll use that one last ability. And now we do strike once again here, which is the first ability. And you should see we'll go up to three when we use this ability here. We've got three. And then you'll see this little saber strike here. Now, if you get this button, you are part of the way to winning this event. Do it every single time. You see, we've done a little bit of damage to his health. So once again, we do faint. And then we do strike. Very good. Very good. And then we do parry. See, we've got up to two. We need to get up to three. And then we just do a strike to finish it off. Now, when we use this ability, we should be back up to three stacks and we'll get another Saber Duel. Saber Strike. There we go. We need to do this four times in totality in order to win. So once again, faint. Say it with me. Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen. We'll finish off the Saber Clash. Then we'll go a strike. It's... I, I know it's... You know, it's, it is what it is, guys. It's slow. And then we'll go parry. Lovely. And then finally, we will go strike. Now, we, you can see we're actually down one. If that happens, if you go down one, it's very easy. You just go through the process again. So faint. Lovely. Uh, and then we go strike. We're up to three again. Saber clash. See, even when it doesn't quite work out like it normally does. Ah, if he's got the confusion... This character didn't pick a dual ability. You could just strike. And that will get you an ability. Then we'll go back into it. Faint. And then we'll go strike. Back up to three. And that's it. Promise you, ladies and gentlemen, if you do that, Every single time, you will win without fail. And I know you have to do that three times, and it's a little bit dull, but hang on in there. I've got faith in you. We've got to move on to the ultimate tiers next, and that's where it gets just a little bit different. Once you've done those first three tiers, you will have unlocked your Galactic Legend layer, layer, Ray. You will have un unlocked Ray. I don't recommend going into... You could probably do the first two tiers, but I don't recommend you go any higher before you have relicked your Ray. OK, I recommend you get all your Zetas. I recommend you get relics. Go up to like Relic 7 before you do these. OK, I, like, I just I I can't in good conscience recommend it. Now, what I'm not going to go go and do is show you each individual tier. 
what I'll do is I'll show you the last tier, which because they're the same battle, I will show you the last tier on the hardest difficulty, and I'll show you how to do it there because that's the most useful benefit to you. Now, I'm obviously not going to use Ray's Ultimate because you won't have that unlocked, but this is the hardest part of the event. So you want to make sure you take this properly. The team that we're going to be using for the ultimate tier is the same one across the board. We're using the Bag Bros with JTR and BB-8. You don't really want to be using someone like C-3PO in this because C-3PO does remove turn meter and that's actually going to make it harder to kill SLKR because he's going to be stacking max health and max protection throughout the run. It's a little bit different. They've got these made up units that don't exist in the game once again, and that's absolutely fine. You have got a new ability here. It's called the Force is with you. Swap turn meter with the target ally. All damage is re received by the target ally is decreased by 50%. They gain taunt, which can't and can't be defeated. These effects last for two turns, can't be dispelled or prevented. It's quite useful, actually. It's quite useful. So we don't want to do that just yet because we want to start lifeblooding so that we can get your new GL rays health down below 70% so she can actually go ahead and use um, Whirlwind. All right, so we'll pass it over to her. Once again, lifeblood over onto JTR. That's put her below that threshold. And then going to pass the turn over to GL Ray. And we're just not going to use Whirlwind, apparently, because it's not available. I mean, we'll go ahead and we'll make sure she drops below 50% health threshold. Next up, we're going to just make sure everybody's got inspiration. Lovely jubbly. Marvelous. Now, these guys do a lot of damage, so do be careful of that. There comes Slacker with his nice big AoE. And we're just waiting for Ray to get her turn. So you want to take out the adds first. Just focus them down with Whirlwinds. Focus down on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren with everybody else. Just leave the adds for Ray to Whirlwind, okay? Lovely jubbly. Once again, I'm not going to be using the ultimate because I feel like using the ultimate is a little bit of a cop-out. Also, with JTR, you want to make sure that you never use the um, second special on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Like I said, that's going to stack his max health, and that's just not a good time for you. Now, it's quite likely that you lose a unit when you do this. Don't worry about it if that is the case. Let's go ahead and lifeblood over on JTR again. We've brought her below 50% health, so she's going to jump back up, and that is going to give us the opportunity to whirlwind once again. Alrighty, so let's have a look. I'm going to use JTR to use the special event ability on her herself. Again, we're not going to decrease the cooldowns on Slacker. We're going to throw the Whirlwind over at the ad again, and now it's just focused down on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. He's going to poke her. Lovely. And we are just going to take our time. Keep stacking Lifeblood on um, JTR. There's another swipe. And we get some counterattacks. Lovely jubbly. Once again, actually, you want to constantly be trying to get Ray to Whirlwind all the time, if at all possible. Unfortunately, you can't actually land the heal immunity, I don't think, on Supreme... Oh, you can land the heal immunity. Ignore me then. Absolutely ignore me. I'm going to use the event special ability on GL, on GL Ray just to get a Whirlwind off against Slacker. He's obviously going to be forced to attack her now. Then we're going to turn me to swap back over to Ray. And I'm just going to use a basic... When she basics during her turn, she does have lifesteal. So that's going to help us get our health right back up there. Once again, do not use the second special from Ray on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. We're looking pretty good so far. Boom. Just the basic over here. And he's done. And that is how you go about doing the ultimate tier. That will work at each level of the ultimate tier. Now, you do have to do it like 12 times, I think, in total. Um, but if you follow that blueprint every single time, mod your Ray for as much offense and health as you possibly can. Try to get a speed, better speed on her if you can. The rest is just Poe and Finn trying to pass turns back and forth. Focus on Slacker. Do not increase his ultimate... Uh, do not increase his... Um, uh, decrease his turn meter make sure that you are not increasing his health and protection with that and you should be absolutely fine just kill those ads with the whirlwind and you will be sorted without dropping a single battle you can thank me guys by hitting that like and subscribing to your boy scribble all right i'll see you all in the very next video peace out and may the force be with you